got the chili crab. This is my very first time. Look at that big piece. A shell, shellfish, like clam dish called lala. This is the fried baby squid mango. This is for dessert. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Greetings from Singapore. Yes. So, uh, I am here waiting for my friend at Newton Station. We're gonna be going to Newton Food Center. I think it's like a hawker center or a coffee shop. I'm not sure, but anyway, there's supposed to be a lot of good local food. Many people tell me that it is um, more geared toward tourists, but then from other people I hear that the quality is good, and although it's a little bit higher priced than other hawker centers, it's good. So that's why I'm here. So um, yeah, let's go. Okay, so this place is located very near the station, Newton Station. It's only, it's literally a block away actually. And I believe that is it, that complex right over there. And it looks like everyone's walking over there. So Jean, it's been so long. It's been like over four years since I've met you in Singapore. Thereabouts, yes. Yeah, yeah, mm. so this is Jean. She's a Singaporean slash Japanese. Yes, slash Japanese. She's actually the one that took me to Sushiro, guys. <laughs> that was me, yep. That was you, that was you. But you know, like, like I told you guys, I was very happy that I went to Sushiro. Um, she literally, I'm not even kidding, she goes there every single week. Sometimes twice a week. That's insane. Okay, we're just about there, guys. Let's see. Let's see. So this is it. Lots of seating space. Wow, we're walking towards the center courtyard. This is where most of the stalls are. Wow, check it out, check it out. All right guys, so we're gonna start with beer, obviously. We're starting with tiger beer. Tiger beer. This is the official Singaporean beer. Cheers. Kampai. Uh, Oh, that is good. All right. Okay, so we got the chili crab. This is my very first time. This is two servings, and this is from a place called 43 Seafood Barbecue. So this is the Tianfa Seafood Barbecue. Okay. Um, at the corner of this stretch of shops. Or you can recognize it easily by the number 43. Number 43. Okay, so all the stalls are numbered. They, they okay, are. that's good to know. Okay. And I would recommend going for the claws first if it's your first time because okay. that's the part with the most meat. All right. And it's good that they've already sort of hammered it, crushed it. It's oh, yeah. easily accessible. Right. So probably go for the claws. Okay. And then um, we also ordered this here, manto. Is this like bread? It is. It is? Okay. It's deep fried bun, so it has a crusty, crispy uh, outer lining, soft okay. on the inside. I see. And this is to eat with the crab, right? It's to go to take up the sauce. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. The claw. Okay, that's a pretty big claw. Do you know what kind of crab this is? I think it's Sri Lankan crab. Sri Lankan crab? Mm. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, the shell comes right off. Look at that. Look at that big piece of crab meat. That is amazing. All right. My first try of the Singaporean chili crab. Daikimasu. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's super fresh. And I think this is the first time I'm having shrink, Singap uh, no, Sri Lankan crab. So it has a completely different flavor from like the crab you eat in Japan, for example. I think the flavor is a little bit more intense, like a crabby, more intense flavor. And it goes really well with the sauce. I want to try the sauce, because I hear the sauce is supposed to be like the star of the show. So, um, yeah. So I'm gonna take this bread. Am I just like dunk break it? it? Oh, I break it. Okay. Oh, it's hot. So it absorbs it's the sauce. It's really better. hot. Okay. Now you're looking local. Do I? Really? <laughs> I'm so excited. Mmm. Actually, the sauce is key. The sauce is the part that's like 
where all the flavor is at. Even the crab flavor is inside the sauce. So you really don't want to waste any of the sauce. Mm, I'm so happy I got to finally try Singaporean chili crab. So just to let you guys know, um, you can order you know, from two people, three people, four people, they will adjust the size to this number of servings. And the price is seasonal, I think. My friend is not sure. One dish down, that was delicious by the way. I definitely want to get more food here. There's literally at least a hundred different stalls here. Should we have Decision. fried carrot cake? Yes, please. The dark one. The dark fried one. carrot cake. I recall you like the barbecue chicken wings. Okay, all right. We could get some of those. Okay. And did you, do you remember the sugar cane juice you had in Chinatown? I remember. That was good. I that too. Oh, the sugar cane juice. Okay. Yes. Wow, they have so much kind of food here. It, it's not just local food, but you can find Indian food, you can find Vietnamese food, all kind of food here. And then I guess the solution would be to just come back again and again until you tried everything. All right, guys, we've got two more dishes here. This is a shell, shellfish, like clam dish called lala. And you can choose from three different sauces. Uh, we, we got the, I don't know which one we got. So this one's the ginger spring onion. Ginger spring onion. Okay, that sounds refreshing. The other two options would be garlic or uh -huh. the chili crab sauce. Oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. I see. And this is the fried baby squid. And there's some kind of like sticky soy sauce looking sauce on it. Sprinkled with some uh, sesame seeds. It's pretty good. Oh my god, it is crunchy. It's like extra crispy, guys. Wow. Squid deep fried to a crisp with toasted sesame seeds. And it's tossed in this really nice, kind of like sweet soy sauce sauce. But that is good. This is uh, the lala, the clams. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That clam is very very subtly flavored which is a good thing because you can actually taste the flavor of the clam oh yeah that is good so far everything we've eaten here at this hawker center um at number 43 everything we've eaten today is from number 43 is amazing dean is ordering some more food for us <coughs> we're gonna get the fried carrot cake and the barbecue chicken wings. I am actually pretty stuffed. This was actually a lot of food, but we have a couple of things coming and we also have dessert. We're gonna be having mango for dessert. I feel like the beer has made me full. This isn't my first beer today. I've already had beer and highball during the day. I'm going strong, yes. Ah. <laughs> so, it's been 35 years since you've been to this hawker stand, right, Jin? Months. Yeah? No oh. years really. Oh, yeah. 35 months. So they used to be more run down okay. um, and then they renovated. This is how it looks now. Okay, it's it looks nice. Definitely more busy, more high, more blinky lights around. Okay. Um, yeah, even I'm absorbing all of this. Yeah. I like it though. It's very comfortable. This is carrot cake. No, it's not the sweet dessert carrot cake. It's actually radish or turnip or daikon. Oh my god. I love Singaporean carrot cake, especially the dark one. It's savory. There's some egg and the texture of the, the, the carrot or the turnip is just so good. It's just super, super flavorful. One of my favorite local dishes here in Singapore. So this is the local chicken wings, three pieces. And Jean says to squeeze the lime inside the chili sauce. I believe this is one of your favorite local food, right? Because you took me to one before. And it you said. Might be one of my favorites because I like the char grilled taste. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, well, we waited long enough for this, so it should be good. Give it a try, Jean. I want to see what you think. How would you rate this chicken wing? So for one, it took long enough because yep. it was charcoal grilled. I see. Okay. And two, they are like little burnt bits, not overly burnt. Mm -hmm. Just right. So I'll try it now. Okay. But of course we know the chili might be more important than the chicken wings. Okay.
Approve. Oh. Juicy. Yeah. Fragrant. The chili doesn't overpower the wings. It's good. Oh, good. That's a high score from Jean. Jean is super critical when it comes to food. Mmm. Wow. It's so juicy. It's so juicy, but the outside is so perfectly char grilled. It's not burnt, so that's good. And adding the, the, the lime to the chili sauce makes it super refreshing, adds some acidity. So you got like sour, savory, salty, really, really good. We're gonna finish off with some mango. Let's finish off with mango. Mm. Amazing. You know, mango is so expensive in Japan. This is such a treat. So good. And you know, for those of you that know mangoes, you know the part by the seed is the best part. Mmm. I am in heaven, guys. Heaven. Okay, so that was a fantastic meal, Jean. What was your impression of this place after 35 months of not being here? I'm impressed mm -hmm. at the variety of dishes, mm -hmm. the variety of customers who are dining here, and the quality of the food we had right. today. I'm, in, I'm impressed actually. Yeah, yeah, right. And, and so was I. I. I was not expecting such high quality food from a hawker center, although I think I shouldn't say that because Apparently, some of the best food can be found at hawker centers. Mm. But I am impressed because a lot of you guys told me this is a tourist place. But for a tourist place, the food is pretty darn good. So I'm happy. Thank you for taking me here. So probably yeah. for people who like to feel more comfortable in a Singapore hawker environment, uh -huh. this might be the place. That's true. It is tourist friendly. It's tourist yeah, yeah. friendly, definitely. That, that's true because Going to a hawker center, a really local one, can be a little intimidating. So yeah, definitely give this try, give this place a try, and please let me know what you guys think. And local Singaporeans, what do you guys think of this particular hawker center? Let me know. If you know of a better one, write it down in the comments. Definitely okay? let me know too. Let her know, because she's local. She needs to know some local stuff. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye.